Hello everyone, Mikas here for your live electronic music tutorial. It's episode 195 and I keep on making music in real time. And of course, at the end of each episode, I turn this session into a template that's gonna go on our site, wemakedancemusic.com, along 5,000 other DAW templates. Simply guys, it is always a tutorial, always real time. I never cut the episodes. It's about the real process of producing music. I don't like to cut the best part and you know remove the, the odd ones. I always want to share with you guys the whole experience and what is very important when you create music if you feel sometime you stuck keep on going just keep on going and keep on going this is my recommendation to any maybe more junior producers that if you keep on going something good will come up and you'll get your flow or if you're working too long on a single element work on something else anyway guys today we're gonna make some dead mouse progressive house or the sound that's been really popularized at dead mouse in the around 2006 to 2009 where dead mouse has its breakthrough and there was a with track like Remember that was shared with Cascade. There was also Adam K that did the same genre that kind of copied. Cascade did the same. That Mouse did like his most popular track, Facts in Berlin, in this style, you know. And this really started a movement that still exists today of like a melodic progressive house, really simple stabs and plucks, and really airy, really cool feeling, really summery, kind of positive vibes. That's what I'm gonna do today, guys with you so you already know about our jump session so we're gonna get started right away set up the VPM to 128 which is a bit faster but this is what we need to accomplish I believe this sound I did uh, just a kick and there's of course this same chord so again guys this is episode 8 of our same chord so I'm gonna use the same chord again 8 episode in a row I think I'll, I'll stretch it to 200 and after that I will switch so you guys get to see me do music in another way but I'll start with those chords yet again today. Let's check out the kick, let's make sure it's an F because we're working in F. Um, um, no, definitely not. Uh, here, G, E. Not much difference really if I... Okay, so E. I said F, but it is E, guys, sorry. So this pad is the same pad, the same chords again. I'm gonna drop the volume. Kick is good for the genre. And there's somehow an extra kick that, that got in there, I don't know how. So I will, I, will, I will flash it. Oh, I think the part was a bit too long. Okay, so we want just a simple 4-4 four, four beat. Tuning every drums again in E, because the chord is in E. This is the root key of our track. Put it. Uh, so there's a... There's a chord outside of the MIDI and it still plays. That's an odd thing. Hey. I think I will leave one at the end. Okay, that's acceptable, you know, since it really want to be there. So I'm gonna do a simple snare. I hope that I could find like a, the type of the type of snare that goes in, in this specific type of track is more like a clap snare. Acceptable, let's see what's, what else. Mm -hmm. Okay, more a clap. Yeah, that's just about right. And then a hi-hat. I don't know what is in this kit, guys. Yeah, that sounds about right. Really small top hats. This, oh, there's still this ghost <laughs> MIDI part there that... That's a bit of a problem now. Because I cannot see it. If I enlarge it to the max. Oh, this is so odd. Okay, I'm gonna replicate it here. And I'm gonna... It's not there. I've got reasons to be confused, guys. There's a MIDI part that is there that shouldn't be there. So maybe if I expand it a little bit here, I'm gonna get to see it. No? Ah, it's here. There we go. 
part that we didn't want. So I guess with a delay, it's just like that sometime. So I got about the, the good the good kick and snare for the genre. I think I would like maybe something more. Oh yeah. And especially for this episode, guys. Very nice. Especially for this episode, I will not use only Logic Instrument. I'm gonna use Silent One because I believe it has the best plucks for of all to make this genre. There's even patches that are called Dead Mouth. Whoa, sorry guys. Which I will actually use to make to make to make my life easier really. So simple. Really almost too simple, but this is just the way it is. Not not this this preset guys. Let me go into plucks. Find the plucks. Here. We have them here. I can also, I think I would double it, would work a little bit better, but I know. Let's select the best one. Hmm. Let's see, how's the cutoff? That's just about right, guys. Ooh. I like this feel. This is really, really remind me of uh, plenty of attempts to copy the style, which I couldn't really get so much back in those days. I mean, you know, 13 years ago. I think I got to be. I'm a better producer now for all that synthetic bass kick. Uh, the kick here. I want to side chain it. You get a nice pump out of it. There's also a reverb in silent, which is okay, but I will use an external reverb to have more, more of a bigger room feel. I'm gonna do bus, bus seven, and add a reverb. I use silver reverb mainly, guys. That's my, my favorite for this grandiose reverb, really big room. In this case, I don't think I will leave it to the same size because it's a bit too big. not take too much of the top and side chain the reverb too this is my style it's not how the original were done but i think it's cool like this i think first thing to do after this would be Take the original chord, not this. Well, actually, I should start with this. And then drop a bass line. And since we're using silent, I'm gonna use mainly silent. I'm gonna drop down this an octave. Because the side chain worked very well, this bass already. Then we a pad on top of that. I think I have a bit of an idea for a pad. Gonna lower the volume here. Oh, actually, I'm not gonna take this. I'm gonna replicate this part. This one use again silent. Since we're in silent, we can use silent for most things. Then I'm gonna go into it. Uh, pad. 
is a pad that I really like. I use in a lot of my tracks. Skull and Juna pad. It's gonna be a bit tough to mix it in there, but I'll... Take really the top, not so much of the mid lows, because the plugs are taking most of the mid lows. Then we can play with it. In the back. I'm tempted to automate it already, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create myself some space. I'm going to replicate this very pad because I think I can also do the main lead with it. Like something fluty if I work it out a little bit. And then I'm going to bring musical typing, guys. Ooh. Something like that. Let's quantize it. Mm hmm, I oh like that. This is cool. Totally. Now, to make this a little bit more like what I am looking for. the top end but not I want it to be smooth not too aggressive more triangly kind of saw so I think I will check if just chop a sign here another sign here and then I think I'm a bit too much in the mid lows here Still not there guys, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna explore a little bit what else I can do. Maybe another preset. Lady, yes, possible, but Ooh. maybe higher. No, No, 
know, it is unnecessary this extra key that I added there. Mm, I'm saying that and then I can hear something else. a little extra key oh. mm, both of them together oh yeah Pad, we have everything here. I'm gonna replicate this. Let's make it into a two minute template that will be on our side, of course. I do like the percussions, I like just about everything so far about that track. Maybe an open at here to alternate a little bit. long for my taste so I will resample it a little bit I think we have a good amount of happiness in there, guys. The bass is also good. I think I would probably try, try to focus it more on the low end. I'm gonna take those two pads here, the two, the lead that I just created. I'm gonna route it. First drop this, route it to a different bus. I'll take bus 10. I'm gonna go into this bus and then I'm gonna put a compressor to kind of try to gel them together a little bit more. hear it. Now I can control the volume with this. I think it's time to arrange this track a little. I think we already have a track. I mean this this is definitely enough to make a track in this style. Of course when you arrange you put more complexity change things around but for now first of all rename so it's all gonna be in Judah pad because most of the thing I use I think there's room for a little layer of a little more layer one more um, I'm gonna go back to musical typing Arpeggiator on there. I'm a little bit high. Mm. 
no, not quite. mix it in just to put a bit more texture Maybe they have a bit of a better arc. So that's gonna work very well in the parts where the lead is not there to introduce more movement. Let's give it a try. Anyway, let's start mixing the track immediately First, let's start with the basic. Not that actually. I'm gonna start dropping the filter, automation, easy, touch. Okay, and put it on to read. Go in there, show show the automations, oh, the musical typing, show the automations here, silent cutoff. What I would also like to do immediately on the silent is to check warm drive. And then furthermore, I'm gonna drop an EQ on there. I'm gonna take vintage tube. I'm gonna try to add some warmth, some more, some chunk in there. So I'm gonna do, 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 do I think this is an organ in there, fat organ. So it's this thing, with, without, a bigger tone. The pad also, we can drop it. We can play with this a little bit. Okay, let's write down things. This is the harp. I believe. So this is the main melody. Main melody pluck. Oh. And here, main melody. I'm gonna get a bit better so we know what it is. This is main flux. 
this is the pad. Okay, now we know a bit more what we're doing. This pad is completely closed, so we're gonna automate that right away. Touch, silent, do this here. I guess the volume is quite low. Okay, it could be good. I think I'm gonna put a bit more mid lows here. Cut the top. It's just like a sub melody, really. And then here, let's create a moment where we just introduce our main lead. leaving a lot of room around it, so I'm gonna cut some elements, of course. So the main plugs will drop, let's say here, slowly. Whoa. And guys, this is gonna be it for episode 195. I want to keep it under 25 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, 25, 30. So I think I have a really interesting track that is really well started. You can see the process, the plucks, silent one, the bass, very simple. Take a good chord progression, put it in there and start doing some more, guys. Put on some reverb, some side chain. You're gonna come with a result like that pretty easily, guys. And until next time, may the sounds be with you.